everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is VR Rat. I'd like to be playing some VR games, some VR adventure games. And today we're going to be starting off our new channel, Burial Stone in VR. Let's go ahead and click New Game, Empty Profile, and go through some of these settings here. Health points and statistics, okay. Mercenary, Spellcaster, Fighter, Mercenary, Spellcaster, okay. Attributes, okay. Let's go ahead and get it started. So, let's go ahead and get these controls. So I've got the left hand for the weapon and the right hand for the torch. I wonder if we can go ahead and switch that out real quick. But, see those controls, left hand, there we go. All right. We got our left hand for attacking and hitting things. Let's go ahead and jump in here. Skills and spells. Spells and skills. Fear slash costs four energy with seven second cooldown. Attacks with a slashing weapon. Your next attack will have 15 bonus damage to hit. Plus three damage. And fierce hack. Four energy, four energy. So they all cost about four energy. Blunt stun, a crushing blunt attack. If the attack hits its target, there's a chance of stunning the opponent. Adds 15 plus to hit and one to damage. Um, and I think that's, that's just about it. We've got our map here, our skills and spells there, our inventory here. Mace, it's a 1d4 damage plus 4. Basic sandals, basic clothes, some gloves, and a head cover. Okay, so that's our bag and this. Okay, this is our character's attributes. So our spellcaster, here's some of our inventory, our strength, endurance, stamina, dexterity, intelligence, wisdom, talent, and charisma. All right. Okay, this appears to be our mana, and that here's be our health. Let's go ahead and um, see how this, okay. All right, so yeah, the coach seems pretty good. Let's come on inside here. We're in our first room here. So we can add these to our inventory. We've got a short sword, brass key, some bread, consumable that heals HP, and gold. So I'll go ahead and take all that. Let's go ahead and exit out of that. Okay. Okay, so it's like a secondary. So our primary and offhand, our throwing hand and our other throwing hand, our offhand, and I guess what's in our hands. Let's go ahead and come through. All right, looks like we have a rat. We got a bunch of stuff we can do. Let's go ahead and try a hit. Okay, let's try a blunt stun. Okay, so we've stunned them. Go ahead and hit again, miss, and a hit. Okay. <laughs> Some uh, Skyrim, Skyrim vibes here. Let's continue through. Let's go ahead and take a look at our map. Doesn't look like we can move our map. Let's continue through. Okay. Take a look in the room. Take a look at our map. Our key over here, let's go to the left. Blunt stun and a fierce club attack. Let's go ahead and hit. Cool. So far, it's pretty simple. Let's keep going through here. Looks like we need a key to go through there, so let's go ahead and go this way. Go ahead and observe the room. Nothing else in here except this chest. Okay, looks like we got a good bit. We've got some bread for HP, a key for the door. We've got some throwing knives. It's a 1d3, so a three-sided die. Another throwing knife, some mana leaves, and some gold. Let's go ahead and take that and make our way back. It doesn't look like I can see something up there. It's a little bit red, maybe an enemy? Take a look at our map again. Okay. Everything's a turn by turn. Let's see if we can equip, so in our offhand, 
throwing here. Let's go ahead and go to our inventory. See if we can put some of these knives. Okay, yeah, so we've got our throwing knife. Let's switch hands. I'm too far away for that. Okay. So we used our throwing knife, so we know how the mechanics work for that. Ready for combat? Let's go ahead and hit. Alright. Okay, so it looks like our mana's low, so let's go to our inventory and get our mana leaves. So go ahead and hit. Okay. Got a noise here. I'm not sure what that means. Let's see, okay, so it's showing that we need to go to our skills. Okay, let's go ahead and go to our character. Let's see what's going on here. Armor, help points, spellcaster, attributes. Okay, so it looks like we have, okay, we have 10 attributes to be able to add. And it's letting us add intelligence, dexterity, stamina, strength. So as a spellcaster, let's see, you can add like one point at a time. And the intelligence is magic points. So let's go ahead and add five to our intelligence and can't add anything to our stamina or endurance so everything's kind of balanced out here let's go ahead and add to our endurance five points there cool so now we can go to our magic so we've actually got a few spells we can put in firebolt for energy Shoots a firebolt from the caster's fingers. Always hits targets, cause three damage. Okay. Radiant light. Emits a radiant light from the caster's hand. Always hits target with three damage. If there is an adjacent enemy, hit with two damage. And magic shield. Creates a magic shield of energy. Absorbs five damage from one attack. Well. Regain health. That looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and put that one on. And... That's just about it. Let's keep going forward, take a look at our map. Just got another door that way. Here. Got some bread. Let's go ahead and take that. And continue making our way forward. Oh man, it's kinda it's getting me dizzy. A little bit of motion sickness. Got another area over there. Some bones. Let's go ahead and see if we can get some bread to eat. There we go. Help back up. Okay, so the door closed behind us. Got some haptic feedback there. That's pretty cool. And it looks like we may be going a little farther down. Okay, so we've made it to our second layer of the dungeon. We got a chest over there in the doorway. Let's see what we got. So we're on a new map. Skills still the same. Let's go ahead and equip our sword. Or, uh, not our short sword. Our throw. Do we have throwing knives? Let's go ahead and put. Okay, cool. I'm gonna leave this one off here. If you guys like to see some more burial stone gameplay, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know if you have any improvements I can make. And look forward to seeing you guys in our next video. Thank you.